Good morning and welcome to the replay. I will be with you in just a moment. Hey Leslie, how are you today? I'll be right there. Just gotta share my video to one place. There we go. Okay, good morning, Shelly. Let me switch my screen over. How is everybody today? Thanks for joining me. Um, I just posted a little reminder about my live this morning and I don't know if that caught your attention, but today we are gonna get dirty. Um, good morning, Shelly. Good to see you. So I have a project today um, that's kind of, it's going to be a really simple and probably a pretty quick one. You never know though, right? Um, but it's got to do with using your transfers in ways that you might not ordinarily think to use them. So today I'm going to be um, working with a cute little bucket. I'm just going to switch my screen over here so you all can see everything. Let's see this way come on move that there and switch this there we go get the knack of that finally had a hard time uh, learning how to switch it over and do this double screen thing but I hope it's good for you so anyway I have this cute little tin bucket that I picked up I don't even remember where but um, it was silver like the bottom uh, when I when I bought it and yesterday I took it out in the yard and put it in a box and I sprayed it with uh, Rust-Oleum Painters Touch Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. I didn't go to the store and buy this. It's just something I had in my basement and since it's Rust-Oleum I figured it would be okay to put outside and hopefully not rust, right? Okay, so here is what I was thinking I was gonna do. Um, I decided to paint it white because I love the look of enamelware that you're seeing everywhere. It's an old kind of farmhouse um, style that's made a comeback and um, I want to make this look like enamelware so that's why I decided to spray paint it. And I also poked some holes in the bottom. Yes, I've been playing with power tools again. Pretty scary, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so yeah, metal is not the easiest thing to, to drill through, but I did. And it's all painted and ready to go, but to make it look like enamelware, I'm going to be adding a little bit of black paint right around the top edge. So if you have any enamelware, enamel wear, you may notice that um, it's got some black around the edges usually. So um, I'm just going to really quick take a paintbrush. Good morning, Charlene and Leslie. And um, just kind of go around the top edge to give it that rustic farmhouse look. Make sure I can keep you in my line of view. Um, so yesterday I did a little painting too. You know I'm not an artist, but I think I can manage this. I'm just kind of go kind of go around the top edge and add a little bit of black to it. And it's not quite ready to get dirty yet, but we'll get it dirty. You see the difference already? So cute. You probably could do all of these. I'm not going to because we're gonna dress that up too. And what I decided to do um, was to add some chalk art using our vintage chuck spring add-on. So I don't know if you have that. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen here so you can see what it looks like. That is our vintage truck um, design transfer, and some of you I know are members of my vintage truck club, which um, normally we meet every month and we redesign our trucks to match the season or holidays or whatever it is. But um, due to this uh, time of our lives, we have not been able to do that. But I wanted to show you how using um, some of the add-ons that go with it, and I'll pull one of those up too. Well, here's one of the fin finished vintage chuck. Let me switch that over so you can see that. Ah, there you go. There it is dressed up for Christmas. But today we're gonna be using this transfer right here, which is the spring add-on collection. 
and um, as you're going to be able to see today it is not just for um, using on the truck there's other ways that you can use it and I'm going to show you one way I'm just going to go around halfway on this bucket for now chances are I'll stick my hand in it later if I go all the way around so let me switch back so you guys can see what, what's going on here picture in picture and push that back there there we go so trucks are canceled I know it's so sad I really miss you guys we um really get together once a month and have so much fun good morning Doris and Cindy and Lynn I feel like the lady from romper room when I say good morning to everybody but I do appreciate you watching and um, I'll tell you I always say this the best compliment you can give me if you like watching my videos is to hit that s-h-a-r-e button and share what we're doing here because lots of people would love to to know about Chalk Couture that have never heard of it before so there we go. I've got the top edge of this pretty well done. Oh my gosh, I do not have a steady hand, but I try. I get points for that, right? All right, so you can see the difference here. Isn't that cute? So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish that up later. So you don't. Well, I probably should do it now because we're gonna fill this baby with something in a little while. So um, I don't know if you can hear outside my window here, but we are getting power lines, new power lines put in behind our house and they've cleared um, kind of a foresty area and they're still working on it. It's so noisy and the new um, power lines that they're putting up are those big metal ones. I always think they look like uh, transformer robots or something. They're, they're not pretty. <laughs> they don't look like trees. Um, they just look like big, ugly metal transformers, but we're getting them, and it's noisy. So if you can hear that buzz in the background, that's them cutting down the trees, and that's sad, too. All right, I'm almost all the way around here, so we'll be good. Good to go. Let's see what you're laughing at. See, I just stuck my wrist in the paint. I told you I'm a klutz. It's all good. Wash it off. Don't worry about a thing. It's all good. So, yeah, Power Tools and me, we've been hanging out lately. I don't know, I just got this urge to uh, use my scroll saw this weekend, and um, yesterday I made a sign, I don't know if you saw that, but it was a seashell, and we added um, a beach saying to it, and it came out super cute. Wow, Mike, let's with this. Okay, that's pretty good. It is what it is, right? You get what you get and you don't get upset. So I'm going to put this brush in some water. <laughs> romper room. Yeah, I know. All us old ladies still remember romper room. Romper stomper, bumper boom. All right, so let me dry this for a sec. And then we'll get to the fun part, the chucking part. But it's always better when the paint's dry to, to move on because I'll be covered with it. This is just a jar of acrylic paint I picked up a long, long time ago. Uh, it's folk art black, but any um, any kind of paint will work. After I'm done with this project, I am going to, to spray it with some clear uh, seal art just to make sure that it stays nice throughout the season. Um, I am using chalk on the front of this in case you wondered. I'm not going to use ink because I'm not sure how this would hold up in my oven. Anything that you can heat set with an iron or in your oven, you can use ink on. However, I don't know. I don't know how this would hold up, so I'm not gonna take any chances. So I'm just gonna use chalk. And I will um, just do a couple light coats of sealer on it and it should be good to go. This feels pretty good. What kind of dryer is that? This is actually a heat tool by Recollections. Um, I used it, used to use it for embossing um, when I was making cards and things like that. I don't use it for that very much anymore. Um, it's a very high concentrated heat, so you want to always keep it moving if you have one of these. If you don't have one, you can use a hair dryer or you can just be patient and let it dry, whichever is good for you. I can just see a really big wet spot right here. So you just want to keep it moving. Um, one time when I was using it to dry my chalk art, I noticed that my chalk started to bubble. So it can really boil, boiling hot, it can boil your chalk. So you probably don't want to do that. 
Can you take offense? Oh, come on, Leslie. I know how old you are. Okay, so my pot edge is done. It looks looking kind of farmhousey. I could probably improve on this just a little bit, but it's okay. Maybe later. All right, so what I'm using, and I'm gonna pull up the screen here to show you. This right here is the Spring uh, Vintage Chuck add-on collection. And in the top right-hand corner, it says Farm Fresh Flowers. So that is something that you can absolutely use with your vintage chuck, but I'm gonna use it on the front of this pot. Um, you can see there's Cupid Farms, Leprechaun Wishes, Follow the Bunny, He Has Chocolate. There's, there's like four different uh, spring seasonal accents that you could use with your vintage chuck, but also really any um, seasonal spring project that you wanna do. So today we're gonna be doing um, the Farm Fresh Flowers, just a little bit of that transfer. And I don't think I have used this before, so I'm definitely going to, as you know, right on the back. Good morning, Christine. How are you today? So Farm Fresh Flowers. And my initials on the back. I found a Sharpie yesterday. I was like, where the heck are they? And then I remembered that my grandsons were into my Sharpies. And I found another one. So this, um, the reason that I write on the front and the back of my prod my transfers, first of all, is because um, this these are reusable silk screen transfers. After you've used them, you can wash them, um, dry them, you wash them with water, dry them sticky side up, and you can use them over and over again. So you're gonna wanna take good care of them by putting them back on the paper carrier sheet that it comes on. So one side of this carrier sheet, the one that I wrote on is sort of a matte finish, but the other side of it is, if I can get it off, there we go, is shiny and slick, kind of like um, if you've ever pulled a sticker off a piece of one of those sticker sheets, it's nice and silky, and, and um, that is the side that you want to reattach your transfer to. If you happen to put it on the wrong side, it can be difficult to take off, if not impossible. The longer it's been there, the harder it is to take off. Trust me, I've done it. So I always write on the back of my transfers so I know not to reattach it to the side that I wrote on. So I also will write the name of the transfer on it because um, if you're working with a bunch of different transfers like I do sometimes, it's much easier to figure out which carrier sheet they fit back on. My initials I add so that I know if I'm loaning my transfers to anyone or if you're, I'm in a group and we're all using the same transfer, that way I know that I'm getting my transfer back and my carrier sheet. How's that? There are good reasons for everything. So I'm just going to remove the transfer from the carrier sheet and I can put that aside. Our transfers sometimes are super, super sticky and this one is. Um, and it's sometimes when they're that sticky, it's very hard to pull them off of the surface that you're putting them on. So the surface that I'm using today is a very smooth metal, which will make it stick super, super tight. So what I'm doing is something called fuzzing. If you have ever chalked with me before, you will know what fuzzing is. And really all this is doing is adding just a little bit of fiber, a little bit of fuzz to the back of the transfer so it's not quite as sticky. This is a fuzzing towel by Chalkateur. However, if you don't have one, you can also use your t-shirt, your jeans, anything that has a little bit of, of softness and fiber to it, just to soften the adhesive just a little bit. And you can see there's a little bit of, um, a little bit of fiber on here. I have used this towel to death. I'm surprised there's anything left on it. So the side that I'm using is, it feels like a towel. And the other side of this is a microfiber. So when I was telling you a few minutes ago about washing and drying your transfers, so after you've washed it with water, um, you're gonna flip it over, sticky side up, and the microfiber is a perfect thing to dry them on. It works great. So I am really fuzzing this up a lot. When I am done with this and I wash it in the sink, um, the, fiber will, the fibers will come off and it will be super sticky again. So I'm really giving this a good fuzz. Christine, how are you today? I miss you, I miss you guys. So, um, I do have two of these spring add-ons in stock if that is something that you're interested in. Yep, I do have two of them. If you are local, I can absolutely do a porch pickup or I can also mail them to you if you're interested. Um, 
I also have them available on my website. I'll pop that up there for you if you want to see it. This one and lots of other transfers. There you go. All right, this has been well fuzzed. I think we're ready to go. So here's a little tip that I have, especially with something that's super going to be super tight like this smooth surface on the metal. I'm just going to fold the corner over on one edge so that I'll have a better way to pull it off when I'm ready to, when I'm all done with this. Yeah, I can't talk anymore. So here's my cute little bucket. I think it's so cute. So it's going to roll around on me. Let me grab that towel again. We need to do lunch. That would be wonderful. So if there's no place open to go get it. Who's tired of this? <laughs> Who's tired of the restrictions? I'm, I'm being very, um, very careful and adhering to the rules, but I'm kind of done with it. So I bet you are too. All right. So I'm going to find the perfect placement. I'm going to stand up for just a second so that I can make sure that I've got this on the right spot. Christine, you could make me lunch. That would be fun. I know you like to cook. That looks about right. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to rub this down with my finger. Give it a nice rub down. Make sure that it's stuck down nice and tight. You're going to notice that I'm not rubbing down all of this blue area. Um, and the reason is because it's not going to be chalked there. So there's really no chance of me having any kind of a bleed or anything, but I am making sure that these letters are rubbed down very, very well. I am working on a curved surface, so that can get a little tricky, but it looks great. It looks ready to go. Once everything is open, you bet, girl. I would love that. All right. I'm getting sick of the, the same old food that I cook, that's for sure. Okay, so here's my chalk paste that I'm going to use. And in true farmhouse style, I'm going to just use plain black velvet and stir this up a little bit. I did um, work this jar yesterday. I opened it up just to check on it because I had a few that were, um, that were pretty dry. So I worked this one, added some water. And it looks so much better. It was almost hockey puck style with this jar, but there's a few lumps I got to work on. But I think we have plenty to work with. So it's all stirred up. You want to have that about the consistency of yogurt. Yum yum. And we're going to use a mini squeegee for this project. Make sure that you can see this. So I'm just going to scoop some of that black chalk off. I'm ready when you are, Christine. And I'm going to smooth it over the open areas of the silk screen transfer. So there is a small, very tiny screen that runs throughout this whole design, which is what gives all of the detail that you see on my chalk pieces. You can see how simple this is, really, huh? Once everything is open, oh my gosh. I wonder if the, like, Restaurants and things are going to be packed and hard to get into. What do you think? We've done takeout maybe once a week. Try to support our local businesses and and eat something different now and then, right? Okay, we've got the whole design covered and now I am going to go back and squeegee off all of that excess chalk. Doesn't seem to be too much. Uh, when you're first learning how to chalk, be generous with how much you put on it. As I said, you squeegee everything else off and put it back into the jar to use for another project. So after you've done it for a while, you kind of get an idea of how much chalk you need. And then you are ready to peel and reveal. Cross your fingers. Oh, this is kind of cute. Okay. So I love it. You can see I have a couple little bleeds, one right there and one right there. And I'll show you how you can get rid of those. I'm not sure why that happened. I thought I pressed it down pretty tightly. Not a big deal. Then you'll make me lunch. You're my girl. You are my girl. So I'm just going to go in here with a Q-tip and clean that up a little bit while it's still wet. And 
me grab it right here too. I'm afraid I'm gonna smear it. Okay, good enough. What do you think? So cute. All right, I think we should dry this all up and then how about if we add a little bit of flowers to this? Because I think it will look really cute on my porch. So I went to go to the flower uh, garden center the other day. We have, we have one in town here on Springfield Street in Feeding Hills. And it was Saturday morning, bright and early, and I was shocked at how many people there were in there. So I kept driving. <laughs> so it was, it was packed. I can't believe they allowed that many people in there, but... Um, I went back on Sunday morning, also bright and early, and wasn't so bad. Got right in and out. So I'm just going to dry this up again, and then we're going to get dirty. How many of you saw my post that said, let's get dirty? <laughs> that caught your attention, didn't it? So if any of you guys are local and you would like one of these buckets, I do have a few, so let me know. I think I have four. Um, and you can pick those up if you want to use one to play with. Do you use the dryer on all chalk products? You know, you don't have to, Doris. Um, if you're in a hurry, like I don't want you guys to sit here waiting for my uh, chalk to dry, um, you can. It will dry very quickly. Um, actually, the hardest part about using our products is to always remove your transfer before it dries, and sometimes it dries so fast. So um, yeah, it's, it's very quick drying. This will be dried to the touch in about five minutes. Um, it is water soluble, so if you want to change it out, I don't know if it would come off of here real well, but if you're using it on a surface like a chalkboard, metal, um, glass, it'll wash right off with water. You spray it, scrub it, and it comes right off. Um, <clears throat> but I am going to seal this. And uh, yeah, it's it dries really, really quickly. I've actually had um, a piece that my friend and I did for the Big E, the fair that I do every fall, um, on a big old milk jug that we've had outside for two years without sealing it and it has stayed perfect. So I love this. What do you think guys? Da -da -da. Bucket and sheet. Bucket and sheet. I'm not sure what you mean Leslie. You're welcome Doris. Okay so get some potting soil and I have some beautiful plants here for us today. Let's see I've got this one. I think I'm gonna move back to my um, this view so you can. Uh, can you see what I'm doing? Probably not. Okay, so I have a I have a plant here. It's just an ivy, and I also have um, a pot of my favorite pink geraniums to put in this. Pot. I could just put it in there, couldn't I? Darn it. Well, I got some potting soil anyway, and I'm just gonna put it in a bigger pot. That's why I put the holes in the bottom so that I could put it in a bigger. Um, a bigger pot. What do I seal it with? Good question. I have a rustoleum. I mean, you can. I use whatever I have in my basement. My husband must have used this for something. But this is rustoleum, crystal clear enamel. Um, any kind of sealer for outdoor stuff will work. And it should stay well. I will take one. You want a bucket or a transfer, Leslie? Bucket, bucket, bucket. All right. This is where we're gonna get dirty, right? <laughs> okay, let me move this back where you can see. I know you guys know how to plant, but you want to see this all finished, right? So I bought some potting soil at the garden center, and I could probably just pour it in, but that would really be a mess. I am no amazing grace. And to tell you the truth, I'm not that good with plants either, but I gotta say, I had a plant, it's one of those, um, new, is it a New Guinea Impatient? that I uh, had in a pot last fall, last summer, and I don't know what possessed me, but I brought it inside in the fall, and it, it bloomed all winter long. Unbelievable. So that's outside in its happy spot on my porch too. 
um, and it'll be good. Okay. So I will absolutely take a picture of this when it's happy on my front porch so you can see how it looks. I'll have to spray this when I have it outside. Try not to hit the plant with it, right? Okay, we'll start with that. Do you guys plant flowers? You would like both. You've got it, Miss Leslie. One each for Leslie. I'm just going to scroll back and see if anybody else commented that they wanted the transfer or the um, buckets. The buckets might not be something that would be easy to mail out to you guys, but um, you can... Hi, Cherie. I didn't see you pop in. You guys make sure you're hitting that S-H-A-R-E tab for me. Um... And okay, I think I got everybody. So, whoop. so um, yeah. So that planted really well out, <laughs> all winter long. With the help of God, because I I'm lucky my kids grew. I'm not very good with plants. But there. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Made these geraniums look even cuter. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill this up with more dirt um, while I'm live. You guys all know what it looks like. I am um, absolutely gonna put this out on my front step um, as soon as I'm done, and I'll take a picture to show you the finished product. So um, again, I have one spring add-on left, and well as well as a couple of buckets. If you would like them, um, please let me know. If you are local to me, we can do porch pickups. You can also order the design transfer and the chalks and all that good stuff. Um, on my website, which is listed right there. And um, if you were watching and you said, I could do that, I, I'd love teaching other people how to use Chalk Couture products, please let me know and I will get you some information. But that is what I have for today. I do have another fun project coming tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I would love it if you could join me. And that one will take a little bit longer, but oh yeah, I got a little crazy with my scroll saw this weekend, so I think you'll enjoy it. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.